Welcome to ADEX's OP3D Patient Positioning Training Video for Acquiring Optimum 3D Images. This video covers proper patient positioning, scan size selections, and acquiring an image. Start by opening your dental imaging software. Select the patient for examination and select the device to establish a connection. The OP3D graphical user interface opens on the workstation when the connection to the device has been established. Select the 3D tab. With the 3D imaging program selected, you can select the region of interest for the 3D scan. This will automatically change the field of view according to your selection. Here you will find the field of view size display and selector, the image resolution selector, and the scout image program. Press the home button on the patient positioning panel. The OP3D will move to the patient in position. Prepare the patient for the procedure by asking the patient to remove all metal objects, including earrings, necklaces, glasses, hairpins, and all removable appliances from above their shoulders. Properly place the protective lead apron over the patient in accordance with local regulations. There are two chin rest configurations that can be used when acquiring a 3D image. One for the maxilla and one for the mandible or dual jaws. With the chin rest pre-configured, place it onto the lower shelf of the device. Release the head support locking lever and move it towards the patient mirror. Pivot the back portion of the head support into its upright position. Place disposable covers on the lip support, patient chin rest, and head support. Have the patient stand in front of the unit. Instruct them to stand as straight and tall as possible with their feet at shoulder width. Raise or lower the unit as needed so the patient's chin is level with the chin rest. Tell the patient to close their eyes so you can use the alignment lights to ensure that the patient's occlusal plane is horizontal prior to entry. To turn the patient positioning lights on, press the positioning light button on the control panel. Have the patient step forward, asking them to grasp the patient handles and place their chin onto the chin rest. Turn the patient positioning lights back on by pressing the positioning light button. Use the positioning lights to assist in correctly aligning the patient's head. The region of interest captured is between the upper and lower field of view lights. Ensure the patient's head position is aligned with the mid-sagittal positioning light. The head should not be turned or tilted. Compensate for misalignments by manually moving the patient's head into the proper position or by adjusting the unit height. Additionally, if the patient isn't required to be in occlusion, add the patient bite block and ensure that the patient bites down so that both the upper and lower anterior teeth are in the bite block's grooves. Move the head support against the patient's forehead and adjust the height of the head support if needed. When complete, lock the head support using the locking lever. Adjust the temple supports using the adjustment knob and pivot the head support strap behind the patient's head. Tighten the head support strap using the adjustment knob to minimize patient movement. Reconfirm proper patient alignment using the positioning lights. You are now ready to acquire a scout image. Before acquiring a scout image, let the patient know the unit will rotate and that an audible sound will occur. Then, press and hold down the exposure button. A lateral and frontal scout preview image will appear on the screen. If needed, the sliders located below each image adjust the position of the 3D scan so the region of interest can be centered in the volume without repositioning the patient. It is recommended to take advantage of the beam collimation to limit the radiation exposure or help ensure that an optimal field of view can be selected. Proceed directly to image capture by pressing the OK button. Ask the patient to swallow, hold their tongue position, breathe through their nose, but remain still for the duration of the exposure. Inform the patient that the machine will rotate around their head and an audible sound will occur. Protect yourself from radiation in accordance with local safety guidelines and regulations while maintaining visual contact with the patient during exposure. Press and hold down the exposure button until the process is complete. The patient can now be removed from the OP3D. Press the OK button to confirm image acquisition. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit dexas.com.